This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Out of nowhere, there starts to be speculation that Trish is going to work towards retirement. Did the injuries just start to get to her? Had, had, had wrestling run its course? Had she had her fill or was it just time to go be a real person? You know, let's get married. Let's be a mom. Let's do the family thing. Let's try new things. I mean, she grew up loving wrestling, but it does feel like she started to rack up the injuries and I don't know. I think I would probably be wondering, man, is it time to move on? Yeah, I think that it's kind of a combination of all of the above and the realization, you know, from Trish, it's like, wow, I've had these injuries. This this stuff has happened to me. I want to have kids. I want to have uh, a family. I want to do other things. And it came to the time that when you look back on her career, she had done an awful lot. She came in, she had a good run on top. She had a, a good time and a good career. And I think was a very positive, um, contributor to the women's side without a doubt. And Trish just from a backstage and locker room to me was a very positive influence as well. Just always had a smile on her face. Um, always in a good mood. <laughs> it's like, man, um, a joy to work with. So to that, yeah, man, you kind of hate to see her go. Um, but at the same time, I think that she's looking at the rest of her life, yeah. which kudos to her and good for her realizing that and being able to walk away at that point. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, what's the old Mr. Perfect thing. Get in, get over, get out. Exactly. You, you want to leave on your terms. And I think that's so cool. I mean, even in sports, you know, sometimes we sit around and we say, man, what could have been with Barry Sanders or whatever. But when you get to walk away on your own, that's, that's pretty cool. You're not taken out on a stretcher. You know, you're not being forced yeah. out the door saying, we're not going to renew your contract. You get to have your fun, make a bunch of money, see the world, have some really cool experiences and then say, I'm ready for the next chapter. And I think that she looks back on, on her career here, uh, extremely fondly and, you know, still, still longs for the relationships that she made here and the career that she made here. I realized that, uh, it was a long time ago, but when you first hear the news, do you think Vince even has a tinge of God damn it? We've put all this time and money in this character and now she's gone. Or does the real life Vince take over and he's happy for the real life Trish? Like good for her, man. Yeah. I think he was happy. You know, first of all, there, there is always going to be a damn it. I wish, you know, we still had her for a few more years, but it is also, Hey, good for her. Best of luck to her. And next. Yeah. Because she's done. He's not done. The beat goes right. on. Yeah. He ain't never going to be done. Never. Uh, she finishes up at unforgiven in her hometown of Toronto. Um, I don't know why. I mean, nobody cares about hometowns. What about the little girl in India? And uh, defeats lead up by the sharpshooter to regain the women's title. Wait a minute. Girl in Huntsville? What the fuck? Why'd y'all put the belt on her? Cause she's in her fucking goofy ass hometown. This is fucking stupid. This is a global brand. Well, you got to because she's in her hometown in Toronto. I mean, I don't under. Did you book the fucking building to have her win the goddamn belt on her return? Is that what you did? Yes. That's why we built booked that building. It's the seventh. Called all of her friends. It's the and seventh family and all of Toronto. It's the seventh and final time she's going to be the champ. She gets a very classy goodbye from the crowd and the company pretty fitting in to a nice little six year run here for Trish Stratus, at least in my point of view. I mean, comes in as a valet first, big bump, a power bomb through a table from Bubba Ray. And before you know it, man, she's having really great matches at WrestleMania, big moments with the McMahons. She had a, a cool run and in hindsight, it feels like it was longer than six years, but I think people think that about a lot of the, the top acts from the WWE over the years, whether it's a guy like the rock or a guy like stone cold, they're not usually these 20 year careers. I mean, the undertaker is, is one of those exceptions and Randy Orton is one of those exceptions, but a lot of those top tier talent, man, 
it's a relatively short amount of time, but those memories, they make such an impression. It feels like a lot longer. Yeah, it sure does, man. And even when I'm sitting here looking at it, I, in my head, it was a lot, probably twice that long. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.